my peers on the Monterey Peninsula had any idea what a carpenter's got to go through in a Montana winter just to start a day, they'd be amazed. video weblog. These videos are a behind the scenes look at what really goes on inside my current residential remodeling and new construction projects. In this video blog we will look at the process of building a custom horse barn here in the Gallatin Gateway area outside Bozeman, Montana. Richard and Mary Elston initially contacted me after having seen pictures of a small custom horse shelter on my website. They were looking to have a barn and small utility building designed and built with a similar rustic look. After seeing my work, the Elstons appreciated the fact that my website blog allowed a general video preview of my project management style and methods of operation. In mid-October, we started the design process for these two buildings. We were looking to incorporate the detailing and the general look of the shelter that they had seen on my website. The utility building is standard construction but for the barn we came up with a post and beam structure. The siding for both these new buildings will be board and bat. The exterior wall and roof framing for the barn is exposed to view from the interior. This barn will shelter two horses as well as allow for storage of up to eight tons of hay. All of this framing, siding and door material for this barn were a special order from Triple L Lumber here in Bozeman. This material is really nice, full dimension bandsawn fur, number two and better. All this material was pre-stained before it was delivered. This project broke ground in late fall, so we needed to hustle in order to get our foundation in before the first snow. The foundation is a concrete caisson and grade beam system. able to get this foundation in and finish grade the site just as it started snowing. Once winter sets in, it's here to stay and we just deal with the conditions. We have a number of exposed connection details that are structurally functional but are part of the rustic look the steel X bracing visible from the interior as well as custom welded roof to wall connectors. These steel roofing panels are custom manufactured locally by Bridger Steel in Belgrade. The manufacturing process leaves each panel covered with a light coating of oil. We want the finished steel roofing to develop a rust patina. To achieve this look, it's very important to pressure wash the panels thoroughly to remove this oil before installing. After the install, we start the rust process by applying a solution of salt, hydrogen peroxide, and vinegar onto this clean metal. Within a few weeks, we see the change, and by summer, we will have a fully developed rust brown color. Thanks for taking the time to watch part one of this program. In part two, we'll look at the finishing details and completion of the project. For more information about my business and to see examples of past projects, visit PeterQBrown.com.